briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a legal dispute brought before the United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit in 2011, Shawnee Burnett locked horns with her prospective employer, Stuart Title Inc., over a contentious issue. Are private companies allowed to reject job applicants based on their bankruptcy status? Burnett had been on the receiving end of a withdrawn job offer when Stuart Title Inc. found out about her bankruptcy status during a background check in 2007, a status she had earned due to bankruptcy proceedings in the previous year. Aggrieved, she filed a lawsuit against the company, invoking 11 U.S.C. Section 525B of the U.S. Bankruptcy Code, which she thought prevented such discriminatory hiring practices. Burnett's initial claim was dismissed by the bankruptcy court, a stance then endorsed by the district court. Unwavering, Burnett challenged the ruling by lodging an appeal. Central to the dispute was the interpretation of the phrase, discriminate with respect to employment within the U.S. Bankruptcy Code. However, Burnett found no more success with the appeals court. In a majority opinion penned by Circuit Judge King, the court not only upheld the lower court's rulings, but also extended its interpretation of 11 U.S.C. Section 525B. According to the court, the clause does not prohibit private employers from deploying discriminatory hiring practices based on an applicant's bankruptcy status. Culminating in a landmark verdict, the court clarified that the legislation does, in fact, allow private companies to deny employment to those in bankruptcy. Interestingly, the court conceded an anomaly, that the same bankruptcy provision bars governmental units, but not private employers, from denying employment over bankruptcy status. But, it argued, the inconsistency should be addressed to Congress, not the court. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.